Hey guys, uh, Ghost Rider here. So I thought I'd just do a quick one take review. I know you guys have been asking for it of the, uh, specifically the CM2 throttle by Verbal that I just got. Um, the first thing that I opened up though was this uh, CM2 grip. I know I just posted in the Discord chat about the uh, button issue I was having with this uh, top right button here being a little crooked. Um, Probably gonna have to send this back to Verbal Support to have it fixed, um, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, I'll just set that look at that for now. Again, sorry, this is kind of an amateur <laughs> review. Um, anyway, onto the throttle. Uh, initial impressions: the throttle is definitely a lot bigger than I was expecting. Uh, that's not bad though. I'm just coming from the uh, Thrustmaster T sixteen thousand M and the TWCS, the throttle with the paddle. And so that's a lot, obviously, lighter. It's plastic and smaller. Um, but I actually do really like the size of this throttle. The movement is very smooth, um, so that's good. I know the friction can be adjusted. Um, people were asking about the play between the throttle. So there's the tiniest bit of play. It's not, I've never had a dual throttle before, so I mean, this doesn't really bother me. And when you move them together with your hand on both of them, you don't really feel it. At least I, I don't really feel it. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I mean, the throttle lock here seems to work really well. You push it to the right, it seems, and then I believe down. I've, I've literally done this once. Yeah, you push it this way and then down. And then to lock it back together, it's spring loaded. So you just pop it up. And it slides in um, the buttons all around the side they feel really good I have no complaints about these buttons the coder there is also really good you got that button there uh, my only gripe so far with this handle trying to rotate it here was another crooked button similar to the grip that I just had this from what I saw in the picture should be a little bit rotated counterclockwise um, so it's kind of a little annoying, cats in the video here, <laughs> they're enjoying the, the verbal boxes. <laughs> um, this, uh, this button should have been rotated a little counterclockwise and it's just, yeah, for the price, I feel like, you know, this should have been looked over, but, uh, I could live with this a little bit more than the, the, you know, crooked button on here because w with this button, it clicks. I don't know if you can hear that but it, it clicks. Um, however, it also clicks like if you, I don't know how I did this before, but if you like just push it to the left, like I've tried to get my thumb in that little gap there. Like, it, I mean, it, it's obviously, it's it's screwed up because of how it's crooked. Like it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right when you click it. Like you can tell it's kind of at an angle. Um, these on the other end all feel good. I noticed that they changed out the, uh, the little, um, dial on the palm rest here for the, the metal one as opposed to the plastic i know that i think they've been using these on the alpha um and i mean it seems to be i don't it's not really much of a difference um per se i mean i guess it feels better than the plastic dials I, i've never tried it um the the palm rest itself is still gonna wobble though i know people have mentioned that but i mean an easy that's not really a big deal an easy fix to that as fox had mentioned in his review of the alpha it's just, just to stick a nut maybe a washer in there and you know bring it all the way down to the bottom that'll tighten this right up so i mean no complaints about the palm rest um anyway sorry kind of reviewing that a little bit a little bit more um yeah but so back to the throttle the slider has a detent i know people had mentioned that I was kind of expecting this slider to feel a little bit more smooth, um, but it's not bad. I, I, I might use this honestly for zoom, I was kind of thinking, um, with the center detent. I, I don't know. Uh, it feels nice though. It's, it's not bad. Uh, all these hats feel nice. The joystick is great. Um, I really like the joystick on the uh, TWCS throttle that I have with the paddles, and I mean, this is just as good. Maybe it t feels a tiny bit smaller, but um, it's, it's good. No complaints. The flap lever, when I first pushed it, and even now it's a little tough to get out of the, the, like the stop at the end. Like once you get it going, it moves pretty smoothly. 
Um, so it is a little firm. I don't think that's something that can be adjusted. Um, but you, I, you wouldn't want this to be like really loose to where you could just, you know, put a little bit of pressure and it goes, you know, all the way. So you definitely have to apply some pressure here to move it. Um, not bad. It feels solid at least. It does, like I said, it doesn't feel flimsy and loose. These toggle switches, they feel pretty good. No complaints with these at all. Um, these also feel pretty nice. Thought this one was a little odd. Uh, this might be just me being a little bit uh, particular, picky. Um, it's kind of odd, but you notice when you push up, this this one kind of goes a little bit to the left. That that's not nearly <laughs> as bad as the button up here or that button on that grip. Uh, I doubt most people would have a problem with this. Um, I feel like I'm a little OCD sometimes, so. <laughs> um, but they feel really nice. These feel really good. Um, so, very happy with those. The encoder dials, I think they changed these from the original. Again, this is my first set of Verbal Gear, so I don't really have much to compare to, but they feel nice. Uh, from what I understand, they cha yeah, they changed them. And I don't know what they're made out of exactly, but they feel really good. And turning them is super smooth and satisfying. The D press is really nice. The mode dial is white. From what I understand, the first batch of CM2s, I think they got a the wrong shipment of, of these uh, uh, chicken head dials here. And um, that's what, I think that's what they're called. And they were all white. So I went ahead and got the CM2 throttle pretty early on, uh, or not really on, but I guess they haven't made a whole lot yet and mine came with the white dial. Probably would have preferred the black one. Uh, I might still replace it at some point. I, mean, you could probably, I think you can easily pop this off and put another one on. You just gotta get the right dial and uh, I believe it's a six millimeter diameter uh, um, knob underneath to put the dial on. Uh, so if you're in the U.S. and you're using the uh, Imperial measuring system, uh, you're probably going to have to find something that's exactly 6 millimeters because I believe a quarter inch is like 6.3 or something like that, so it might not fit as snug. Uh, anyway, not a big deal. It's just if you want to swap from the white dial. feels nice. Um, yeah, I mean, that that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I've covered everything on this throttle. I'll have to play with adjusting the friction. Again, these all feel good. Uh, just like the tiniest bit of play here. It's really not much, but the throttle is super smooth. Uh, that, that was a huge thing for me coming from the, uh, the TWCS and the, the rail system. It just, it was, you know, you, if you pressed it, it, it would kind of stick a little. This is going to be really nice for, for flying and, you know, making really small adjustments. So. Uh, that's pretty much it. I still have the uh, Warbird throttle to open up. Uh, the Warbird base. Sorry, my cats are distracting me. They're playing with one of my Allen wrenches, apparently. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let me know if you have any questions, guys. Thanks.